Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from How to Gay, and in today's guide video, I am going to show you how you can log in Telegram QR code on your mobile or how to scan Telegram QR code on your mobile device. First of all, if you are new to our channel, then do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let us get started. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have downloaded and installed the Telegram application to our phone. If we have not downloaded the Telegram application, you want to simply open your Play Store, go ahead and type in Telegram and then download the application first. Once we download the application, open the application and make sure that you are logged into your account because if you are not logged into your account, you will not be able to scan a QR code and make it log into your desktop or your laptop. So once you log in, you can see this is how the home interface of our application looks like. Now in order to scan Telegram QR code, what we want to do is on the top left hand side, click on the three bars right over here. Once you click on the three bars, you can see a list of multiple menu is going to pop up. Over here, what we want to do is simply select the settings option. Once you go to settings, you will scroll down until you find the option called devices. So as you can see here under the settings tab, there is an option called devices. Simply tap on devices and at the top of the screen, you will see link desktop device. So what we want to do is simply tap on link desktop device right over here, which is in the blue box. Once you do that, place the QR code of your desktop in front of you and it will automatically scan and log in your telegram to your desktop browser. So in this way, you can really easily scan telegram QR code in your mobile device. We hope that this card video was really helpful to you. And if it did help you, then do make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. As always, thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you in our next video.